So it's all going to very good causes to help protect these guys. Um, so if you have some extra time, I highly recommend it. And we're doing this all um, a favor and helping out the elephants here. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all the volunteers that are in there helping out with this open house. Uh, without their expertise and without their willingness to put out the bus keepers and come out on a day like this to help out with something like this, it wouldn't be possible. So again, I'd like to take this opportunity, and everybody here can give them a big round of applause. Um, we really do appreciate all of us volunteers. Now, as I was saying, this here is Thika. She is our youngest elephant, um, Heidi, the trainer. And Heidi will go through a few behaviors here. So the first thing we will get Heidi to ask Thika to do is step into a lean-in position. Now in this position, Thika here will be standing parallel to these bars. And this is a very beneficial position for us to be able to get our elephants into because it allows the sending keepers, such as myself, to come up and take a look at our elephants. We can physically examine them, we can look at them from one end to the other, we can touch them, inspect them from one end to the other, just make sure there's no bumps, bruises, bumps, cuts, anything out of the ordinary. Just make sure that they're in overall good physical condition. So this is something that we'll do with our elephants every single day. Now I think it's about to step into that position facing the opposite direction. And it also gives you guys a great opportunity to see how large of an animal Thika here is. Just as a reference point, the tops of these bars are eight feet off the ground. So you can see that Thika is well over the eight foot mark. She's actually about nine feet tall. And she weighs just shy of 8,000 pounds. She's actually about 7,800 pounds. Her weight can fluctuate, you know, 100 pounds or so throughout the course of the day. We've got a scale outside the house. We used to weigh our elephants on a daily basis. We record their weights um, every week. So we'll weigh them first thing in the morning just to get an idea of whether they're doing the weight. Now that's a pretty typical size for female African elephants. The males will get a bit bigger though. The males will usually reach heights of around 11 to 12 feet. And they'll usually weigh around 11 to 12,000 pounds. The largest one on record was 13 feet tall, weighing 23,000 pounds. So 50 years being 8, you can imagine how large 23,000 pounds are all going to be. These guys are the largest terrestrial animals on this planet. Now besides an elephant's size, there's several things about them that make them very unique and very distinct animals. A good example of this would be their large ears. Now African elephants have larger ears than their Asian counterparts. Um, they use their ears for a number of things. They'll use them for communicating with other elephants. They'll obviously use them for hearing. But the main reason that their ears are as large as they are is because it helps keep them cool in the really hot sun. Elephants don't sweat like we do, so they rely on these giant ears to keep them cool. And the way that they'll use their ears to do that is they've got an intricate series of veins and arteries running through those ears. They've also got very thin skin on both the front and the back. So on a really hot day, they can take all that warm blood from their body and pump it out into their ears. They can fan them back and forth, and this does an excellent job reducing the temperature of that blood. It can then be recirculated back through their body, and it does a great job lowering their core temperature. So it's a very effective way for them to stay cool in that hot African sun, or as we've experienced this summer, the hot Canadian sun. Now, we keepers can also take advantage of these large veins and arteries and do what we call a voluntary blood draw. So once a week, we can take a small sample of blood from each of our elephants, uh, and we can send it down to the veterinary staff here so they can take a look at it, make sure that they're healthy, and they're getting all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. Now, an elephant's foot is also a very unique feature. You might not think about it right off the bat, but as I said, Thika here weighs about 8,000 pounds, so these feet have to carry a lot of weight. So it's very important for us to be able to take a look at our elephant's feet on a daily basis to make sure that they're in good condition. So our elephants have been trained to present their feet to us, such as this, uh, so that we can look at them, as I said, every day. Uh, now, while their foot's up in this position, we can wash their feet, we can trim their nails, we can trim down the pad on the bottom of their foot. Most importantly, we can take a very close look and make sure there's no sharp rocks or pebbles or anything that may have gotten embedded in the pad of their foot that may cause them any discomfort. And if there is, we can take those out. Now, if you were to see the skeleton of an elephant, you'd see that they're actually standing up on their toes. And most of this foot that you see in front of you right now is made up of a large fleshy pad that's located behind that bone. Now, that's there to absorb their weight. And it does a very efficient job of doing this. Um, as Nika here steps down on her foot, you'll actually see it expand a bit under her weight. <laughs> now the show is really scary. <laughs> Elephants are capable of drinking up to about 10 liters of water with a single 
chunk full of water. And all that water's got to go Daddy. somewhere. <laughs> As I was saying another team, uh, they have this large fleshy pad located behind the bowl. This is a very poop now. job. Here comes the poop. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> So these feet, the pad does a great job absorbing her weight. And when Pika is standing on all four of her feet, she actually puts less weight per square inch on those feet than you or I would put on ours. So that gives you an idea of how efficient it does, uh, efficient job it does with absorbing that weight. Now, <laughs> she's got an itch. Perhaps the most unique feature of an elephant would be their trunk. Now an elephant's trunk is actually a fusion of their nose and their upper lip. They use their trunk for a number of things. The trunk is the main way in which an elephant will interact with its environment. They use the trunk very much the same way that you or I would use our arms. And we use it for picking up small objects off the ground. They use it for picking up large objects off the ground. And as I said earlier, they'll use it for drinking water. Now I see that at the end of Pika's trunk, she's actually got two finger-like tips. We actually use those for picking up small objects. Now those tips are so dexterous that she could use them to pick up a single blade of grass. Uh, she could use them to pick up something as small as a dime off a piece of concrete. But that trunk is also so strong that she could use it to lift up the front end of the car. It kind of gives you guys an idea of the range and versatility of this adaptation. How useful it would be to an animal that can't bend their head all the way down to the ground. An elephant's tusks are also a very unique feature. The tusks, obviously growing out the front of her face. What you might not know about tusks is they're actually their incisor teeth, or their front teeth. Um, an elephant's tusks will grow in at a constant rate of about six to eight inches per year. Now they'll use their tusks for a number of things. They'll obviously use them for defending themselves. They'll use them for defending their young. Uh, during the dry season in Africa, they'll use their tusks for digging, looking for water. And they'll use them for stripping branches off trees. Um, now, elephants do have another type of tooth, though, located in the back of their mouth. They have molars. And their molars serve a very similar function to them as ours do to us. The key difference being that their molars are a whole lot bigger. The molars are actually about the size of a brick. And they'll go through six sets of these molars over the course of their life. Now, the reason that their teeth are so large and that they go through so many is because of the type of food that they eat. These guys are herbivores, which means they eat vegetation. And they'll eat pretty much any type of vegetation they can find. They'll eat grass, they'll eat shrubs, fruits, vegetables, they'll even eat trees. Now, this type of food is very hard to get enough energy out of, um, especially if you're trying to sustain a body of this size. So they need to eat a lot of food, and they need to grind it up very well so that they can get enough nutrients out of it to again, sustain this body size. So because of the sheer amount of food that they need to eat, they're going to go through several sets of food. Now, what you see Heidi doing with Pika right now is part of her exercise routine. Now, our elephants here aren't getting any younger, so we do have an exercise program in place here at the zoo in order to keep our girls in good shape and try to reverse some of those effects of aging. Now, the behavior that you saw a second ago was a leg lift. So Heidi asked Pika to lift up her legs and hold them straight out in the air. Now, we'll do this, and we'll ask them to hold their legs for about 10 seconds. We'll do several repetitions, usually do it three times, and we'll do this multiple times throughout the course of the day. Now this exercise is designed to increase their strength. It does a great job working out those muscles. It increases their muscle mass, their muscle tone, and like I said, their overall strength. We also have various structures within the elephant house. So we'll ask the elephants to climb up onto them. Again, this climbing motion does a great job working out those muscles and increasing their strength. Is this the elephant Cooper? We'll ask them to place their feet up on these horizontal bars, like Deepa is doing right now. We call this a leg stretch. Now it's a similar behavior to the leg lift, but it serves a very different purpose. Uh, because she can rest the weight of that leg on this horizontal bar, and that leg does weigh an awful lot, uh, it does a great job stretching those muscles out. It increases the length of those muscle fibers. It does a great job working that joint and increasing the lubrication within that joint. It really does a good job increasing her overall flexibility, kind of like elephant yoga. Uh, the third type of exercise that we do with our elephants every day is that we walk them. On the far side of the exhibit, we'll walk each and every one of our...